Okay, dear students, today's topic is a circle. Uh, some revision we will discuss first, then we will go through the remaining part. Review part. Equation of circle. Equation of circle that is x square plus y square equal r square when the center center at origin r is the radius similarly equation of the circle x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equal r square center 8 h comma k third one is general equation of circle that is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0 at this condition center of the circle is center of the circle equal minus g comma minus f and radius of the circle is radius of the circle equal root under g square f square minus c now other condition equation of the circle touching the x-axis if the circle touches the x-axis yeah in this situation the equation is x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equal k square because the center is h comma k and this height will be k which reflect which gives the value of radius next one is equation of the circle Touching the y-axis. Touching the y-axis. Like this. In this case, the center is h comma k. The equation becomes x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equal h square. Because this part this part will be h this distance will be h that's why radius will be h in this way and the equation of the circle touching both axes in this case either h or k you can write x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equal h square or k square any one we can check touching both axes now 
equation of circle equation of the circle in diameter form this is the circle in this case this point is p x comma y this a is x1 comma y1 and this b is x2 comma y2 for this case equation of the circle in diameter form is and these two are the endpoints of the diameter that should be x1 y1 and x2 y2 are the endpoints of the diameter then the equation is x minus x1 x minus x2 plus y minus y1 y minus y2 equal to 0 if these two points are the endpoints of the diameter whose coordinates are x1 comma y1 and x2 comma y2 then then length of perpendicular drawn from center to the point of contact is a radius suppose a circle is given this is a tangent the o is the center if we have drawn this this is perpendicular the line joining center to the point of contact of the tangent is perpendicular we have discussed that now this is hk next part is if hk be the center of the circle be the center of the circle and ax plus by plus c equal zero b tangent to the circle this equation is ax plus by plus c equal to zero this point is this now this is r and perpendicular distance is same because that is r as well so to find r r equal p equal you need to find a h plus b k plus c by root under h square k square in this way you can find r and the equation of the circle is equation of the circle is x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equal p square which is r also in this way we can find the equation of the circle Situation. Inter situation में ये उटा two points में cut करनी ये उटा tangent form में बनने ये उटा सही imagine ये तीन और बीच intersect ना होने ये y को value यहाँ x substitute the value of y in the given circle you will get the equation in quadratic form of x then roots are minus b plus minus root under b square minus four ac by two a and the discriminant is b square minus four ac the discriminant b square minus 4 ac have uh, three conditions one b square may be greater than 4 ac another is b square equal to 4 ac 
नेक्स्ट ओनली बी स्क्वायर इज स्मॉलर देन 4ac इफ बी स्क्वायर इक्वल टू 4ac वी विल गेट इक्वल रूट्स एट दैट कंडीशन द लाइन विल बी टेंजेंट इफ बी स्क्वायर इज ग्रेटर देन 4ac वी विल गेट द रियल एंड डिस्टिंक्ट रूट्स ऑफ x एंड एट दैट कंडीशन द लाइन कट द सर्कल इनटू टू पॉइंट्स एंड इफ बी स्क्वायर इज स्मॉलर देन 4ac देन द लाइन and the circle are disjoint they will not meet we will get imaginary roots yeah now moving to next part dear students tangent and normal to a curve tangent and normals to any curve tangent and normals to any curve a straight line drawn perpendicular to the tangent at a point of contact is called the normal to the curve at the point yes and uh, uh, we have to mainly we have to discuss here equation of tangent equation of the tangent equation of tangent to the circle x square plus y square equal a square at a point x1 comma y1 on the circle now um, we have to find the equation of tangent the circle is given in the form x square plus a square x square plus y square a square this is called the uh, center at origin this is uh, reflected it and from the point x1 comma y1 so in this case the formula is x x1 plus y y1 equal a square this is the equation of tangent to the circle x square plus a square equal y square equal a square at a point x1 from y1 y1 on the circle this point on the circle so if we know one point of the circle and equation of the circle then this will be the tangent of the circle i think tangent is clear for all the students here yeah? just touch it at a point t a and tan equation of this tangent should be suppose this point is x1 comma y1 center may be 0 comma 0 for this so in this case you have to find x x1 plus y1 equal to a square a square is r square and the second one is I have not mentioned details in or details proof of this theorem. You can observe yourself that there are all alternative way also given. So the same condition, similar condition, equation of the tangent to the general circle. that equation of the tangent to the general circle x square plus y square plus 2gx plus plus c equal to 0 at a given point huh? in this case the general circles equation of the this is passing through the origin uh, center at origin and uh, now the general circle is you can write this formula x x1 y y1 plus g times x plus x1 f times y plus, uh, sorry y plus y1 <coughs> plus c equal zero this is the 
equation of the tangent in a general circle equation of the tangent in a general circle now third condition condition of tangency tangency of a straight line to a circle condition of tangency in what situation the uh, the line will be tangent to the circle uh, the proof is given in details let's simply y equal mx plus minus a root under 1 plus m square r always here r means plus minus so that's why in a circle one will be this side then another will be that side so plus minus i have written here just justification is given proving part is included in your book as well y equal to mx plus minus a root under 1 plus m square always tangent to the circle to the circle x square plus y square equal to a square if we have given this equation of the center uh, center for the equation of the circle then y equal to mx plus minus a root under 1 plus m square always tangent to the circle so that you need to apply this we have the line then the equation of line y equal to mx plus c then the value of c is obvious that obviously plus minus a root under 1 plus m square and this is replace here and we obtain this equation y equal to mx plus minus a root under 1 plus m square which is the condition of tangency of the line to the circle then next part is dear students now equation of normal equation of normal you know that this is the tangent of the circle and perpendicular line to the tangent is a normal then in general it is passes through the center of the circle because the line joining center to the point of contact is always perpendicular so that is normal as well so equation of normal equation of normal in uh, the circle x square plus y square equal to a square 8 peak x1 comma y1 on circle on the circle that is x1 y equal y1 x this is the direct formula finding the equation of normal or you can uh, if you know equation of tangent then find slope and find slope of normal is a uh, m1 times m2 equal to minus 1 because perpendiculars normal and tangents are perpendicular to each other and after finding the so slope find the equation of line line using y minus y1 equal m x minus x1 because points x1 comma y1 are also given in this way also you can find the equation of normal uh, now uh, finally 
next part is about um, length of the tangent tangent from an external from an external point to a circle length of the tangent from an external point to the circle this is important part uh, you can see page number 245 of your text as well uh, simply this is a circle this is the center now this is external point p this is tangent 3 this is center of the circle now length of the tangent from length of the tangent pt that is the length of the tangent from an external point that is p to a circle that is having center c what is the length of pt we have to find the length of pt tangent pt what is the length of pt that is length of pt in this case is x1 square plus y1 square plus 2gx1 plus 2fy1 plus c this is the length of pt of the circle in this situation in this situation center c is minus g comma minus h you have to apply radius r is put under g square plus f square minus c and the equation of circle is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0 the general equation of the circle is this in this case that the length of pt is x1 square and maybe the contact point will be given yeah, sorry the external point will be given x1 comma y1 x1 square plus y1 square plus 2gx1 plus 2fy1 plus c in this way we can find the length of the external length of the tangent from an external point to the circle the details is given here if the equation uh, the equation of circle x square plus y square a square the length of tangent from an external point x1 comma y1 can be similarly shown to be equal to uh, yeah if uh, the center is not h comma k uh, in this uh, case uh, if the center is 0 comma 0 then it will be deducted that will be x1 square plus y square minus a square only we will get which is also shown in your textbook okay exercise question number one a <coughs> find the equation uh, of tangent <coughs> and normal to the following circle we have given the circle is x square plus y square equal 8 and 8 the point 2 comma 2 the equation <coughs> the equation of tangent 8 2 comma 2 is we know that formula what is the formula x x1 plus y y1 y y1 equal a square that we have already discussed x x1 plus y y1 equal to 0 using this formula x 
x1 is 2 plus y y1 is also 2 equal a square is what 8 8 so that Two x plus two y equal to eight. Two is common. X plus y equal to. Oh, this is the required equation of the tangent <coughs> again. equation of normal 8 2 comma 2 is that formula is x 1 y equal y 1 x so x 1 is 2 y equal when is also 2x or 2x minus 2y equal to 0 therefore x minus y equal to 0 is the required equation of the normal Okay, this is in the circle having center zero comma zero. Here, see mm, here x square plus y square minus six x minus eight y minus four equal to zero. 8 8 comma 6 now comparing the given equation with x square y square plus 2gx 2fy plus c equal to 0 and what is g to g equal to minus 6 g equal to minus 3 to f equal to minus 8 f equal to minus 4 and c equal to minus 4 now equation of tangent it it comma six is x x one plus y y one plus g x plus x one plus f y plus y1 plus c equal to 0 so x times what is x1 8 plus y times y1 is 6 plus g c is minus 3 times x plus x1 is 8 mm, plus f is what minus 4 times f times y plus y1 y means y plus y1 is 6 plus c is minus 4 equal to 0 or this is 8x plus 6y minus 3 into x minus 3x minus 3 into 8 minus 24 
माइनस फोर इंटू वाई फोर वाई माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर माइनस फोर इक्वल टू जीरो एट एक्स एट एक्स माइनस थ्री एक्स एट एक्स माइनस थ्री एक्स इज फाइव एक्स सिक्स वाई माइनस फोर वाई इज टू वाई माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर माइनस फोर्टी एट माइनस फोर फोर्टी एट फोर्टी नाइन फिफ्टी फिफ्टी वन फिफ्टी टू ये माइनस फिफ्टी टू इक्वल जीरो देर फोर फाइव एक्स प्लस टू वाई इक्वल फिफ्टी टू is the required question of the tangent of the circle this is one equation now <clears throat> using slope formula again the equation of the tangent is 5x plus 2y equal 52 slope of the tangent slope of the tangent m1 equal minus 5 by 2 minus x of by y coffin yeah and uh, age tangent in normal r are perpendicular to each other so slope of the normal m2 equal 2 by 5 from this we can find then equation of the normal to the point equation of the normal to the point it comma six with slope of is y minus y one equal m m minus x y x minus x one y minus y on with 6 equal m is 2 by 5 x minus 8 by cross multiplication 5y minus 30 equal 2x minus 16 or 2x minus 16 equal 5y minus 30 2x minus 5y equal it big plus minus 14 is the required equation of the normal and so we can find the equation of normal now question number A. Instruction find the equation of the tangent to the circle. Find the equation of the tangent 
the circle 2x square 2 plus 2y square equal to 9 which makes an angle 45 degree with the x axis here equation of the circle equal 2x square plus 2y square equal 9 and the slope of the slope of each tangent is ten forty five degree equal one <coughs> and Also, the radius of the circle x square plus y square is 9 by 2. 9 by 2 root on the right by 2 is 3 by root 2. 9 by 2 is 3 by root 2 whole square. So this. We have the equations of the tangents are we very m is 1 and a is this or y is y equal m is 1 x plus minus a is 3 by root 2 root under 1 plus m square is 1 square is 1 or y equal x plus minus 3 by root 2 times root 2 or y equal to x plus minus 3 y equal x plus minus 3 is the required answer required equation of the tangent tangents in this way we can find is number 249 question number 3 is so that the line 3x minus 4y equal 25 we have given line 3x minus 4y equal 25 and a circle and the circle x square plus y square equal 25 intersect into two coincident point intersect intersect into coincident points now the solution part given line 3x minus 4y equal 25 then simply 3x minus 25 by 4 equal y then x square plus y square yeah 
equal 25 is the equation of circle put this value here x square plus 3x minus 25 over 4 square equal 25 or 16x square plus 9x square 150x plus 625 equal 1625 400 applying the formula taking LCM and cross multiplication all done in the same time then <coughs> 25x square minus 150x plus 125 equal to 0 x square minus 6x plus 9 equal 0 x minus 3 square equal to 0 therefore x equal 3 so that the line this intersect to intersecting point yeah uh, we find the same value x equal to 3 we find the same value 3 3 yeah and again uh, you can verify b square equal 4ac if that condition satisfied it touches in two coincident point this equation you can verify here also b square is minus 6 whole square 4 times a is 1 and c is 9 36 equal 36 it also verified and y equal from here what is y 3 times 3 minus 25 by 4 minus 16 of the 3 the 9 minus 25 is minus 16 by 4 equal to minus 4 therefore the intersecting point is 3 comma minus 4 is it this is the repeated point so finally finally from the verification of verification of equal to 4 c and x equal x minus x equal 3 x square minus 6x plus 9 equal to 0 gives the gives the two same values of x implies two same values of y hence the line and the circle intersect in to coincident points in this way we can solve three a number question now three bit number question 
Prove that the line 5x plus 12y plus 78 equal to 0 is tangent to the circle here line 5x plus 12y plus 78 equal to 0 and circle x square plus y square equal 36 0 0 is the center of the circle this is r equal to p perpendicular distance and r is same if this can be the radius and perpendicular distance from origin to that line is same in that case the line is tangent we can we can say so dear students center of the circle that is zero zero radius of the circle equal six now perpendicular distance from zero comma zero of the circle to the line five x plus twelve y plus seventy eight equal to zero is p equal Five times zero plus twelve times zero plus seventy eight over root under five square plus twelve square seventy eight by thirteen equal to six as the perpendicular distance from center to the line equal to the length of the radius so the line is the tangent is the tangent so the line is the tangent in this way we can solve second question <clears throat> now moving to number c dear students you see number uh, now Question number three C prove that the tangent to the circle given circle is x square plus y square equal to five. Mm -hmm. uh, prove that the tangent to the circle tangent to the circle uh, eight the point 1 comma minus 2 also touches the circle this and find the point of contact okay tangent to the circle at the point 1 comma 2 also touches the circle this okay <clears throat> uh, given circle is this equation of the tangent Uh, 8 1 comma minus 2 is x x1 plus y y y1 equal a square so 
x into 1 plus y into minus 2 equal 5 x minus 2y equal 5 then then what is y x minus 5 by 2 is y so what we have given uh, prove that the tangent to the circle x square plus y square uh, equal 5 at the point 1 comma minus 2 also touches the circle if, if this uh, touches the circle then that will satisfy the, the given condition also uh, next circle also so again another circle is x square plus y square minus 8x minus 8x plus 6y plus 20 equals 0 now you can put the value of y here x square plus x minus 5 by 2 all square minus 8x plus 6 times x minus 5 by 2 plus 20 equal 0 or x square plus x square minus 5 to the 10x plus 25 over 4 minus 8x plus 6 into x 6x minus 30 by 2 is 20 equal to 0 then taking 4 LCM and multiplying this 0 so 4x square plus x square minus 10x plus 25 minus 4 is a 32x plus 2 2 6 12 x minus 60 plus 80 equal to 0 taking for LCM and multiplying the numerator and shifting to the right 2x square plus x square is 5x square minus 10x minus 32x plus 12x uh, it is minus 42 plus is 30x minus 30x then 25 minus 60 80 80 60 20 45 plus 45 equal to 0 or 5 is common x square minus 6x plus 9 equal to 0 x minus 3 whole square equal to 0 and here also v square equal to 4 ac that 36 equal to 36 satisfied mm -hmm. now x equal to 3 and y equal x minus 5 by 2 x minus 5 by 2 3 minus 5 by 2 equal to minus 1 therefore point of contact is 3 comma minus 1 so b square equal to square satisfied so or this line also touches that and the point of contact is this in this way uh, b square equal to 4 satisfied so it becomes the tangent and the point of contact is this in this way we can continue the number question now moving to next dear students for no more question Question number four. Find the equation of tangent to the circle 
x square plus y square equal to 4 and which is parallel to 3x plus 4y minus 5 equal to 0 we have to find that <coughs> Uh, a circle is given and our line is this this is 3x plus 4y plus sorry minus 5 equal to 0 another line is parallel to this line that is 3x plus 4y plus k equal to 0 the center of circle is 0 0 then this is r equal to P. this is the point of contact and we need to find the equation solution given circle x square plus y square equal to 4 center equal 0 comma 0 radius equal to 2 and the given line 3x plus 4y minus 5 equal to 0 parallel line to this line is 3x plus 4y plus k equal to 0 now perpendicular distance from center to the parallel line is a radius so so two equal plus minus 3 times 0 plus 4 times 0 plus k by a root under 3 square plus 4 square 2 equal plus minus k by 5 and therefore k equal to plus minus 10 required equation of the line is 3x plus 4y plus minus 10 equal to 0 in this way we can find the equation of tangents now moving to the next dear students I will show now for D number X uh, given circle perhaps given circle is X square plus Y square minus 2X minus 4Y minus 4 equal 0 yes uh, then comparing with x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0 g equal to minus 1 f equal to minus 2 c equal to minus 4 therefore center minus g comma minus x equal 1 comma 2 and radius r equal root under g square plus f square minus c equal 1 square 2 square 1 square minus 1 square plus minus 2 square minus 4 equal C is minus 4 yeah? 
सो वट इज द रेडियस सिंपली जी स्क्वायर इज स्क्वायर दिस इज टू स्क्वायर फोर दिस इज माइनस फोर माइनस वन स्क्वायर इज वन सो दैट सी इज माइनस फोर माइनस माइनस प्लस फोर सो इट बिकम्स थ्री नाउ गिवन लाइन वी हैव गिवन लाइन इज थ्री एक्स माइनस फोर वाई इक्वल वन एंड परपेंडिकुलर लाइन परपेंडिकुलर लाइन टू दिस लाइन इज फोर एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई प्लस के इक्वल टू जीरो x plus थ्री वाई प्लस के इक्वल टू जीरो नाव द रेडियस इज द परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंट नाव आर इक्वल प्लस माइनस फोर टाइम्स सेंटर इज वन कमा टू वन प्लस थ्री टाइम्स टू प्लस के ओवर रुटंडर वो स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री स्क्वायर द रेडियस इज थ्री क्वेल प्लस माइनस फोर वन जा फोर थ्री टू जा सिक्स टेन टेन प्लस के बाई फाइव और फिफ्टीन इक्वल प्लस माइनस टेन प्लस के देर फोर के इज फाइव और ट्वेंटी फाइव बाई टेकिंग प्लस साइन फाइव माइनस साइन ट्वेंटी फाइव देर फोर द रिक्वायर्ड टेंडेंस आर फोर एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव इक्वल जीरो फोर एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई प्लस फाइव इक्वल टू जीरो के इक्वल टू इफ वी हैव टेकन प्लस साइन इट विल बी फाइव माइनस साइन इट या आंसर यस दिस इज द सोल्यूशन फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन नाउ मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट डियर स्टूडेंट क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव फाइव ए वी हैव टू सेफ्ट लेट मी रीड आउट क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव ए क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव ए Find the value of k so that the line may touch the circle. Find the value of k. Solution. Given line. We have given line. फोर एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई प्लस के इक्वल टू जीरो गिवन सर्कल गिवन सर्कल इज एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर माइनस फोर एक्स प्लस टेन वाई प्लस फोर इक्वल टू जीरो Comparing with x square plus y square plus two g x plus two f y plus c equal to zero. G equal to minus two. F equal to five. C equal to four. सेंटर 
minus g comma minus f equal to 2 comma minus 5 and radius equal g square plus f square minus c equal g square is 4 plus f square is 25 25 minus 4 equal to 5 now we know r equal plus minus 4 times the center is 2 plus 3 times minus 5 plus k over root under 4 square plus 3 square now what is r we obtain that is 5 5 equal plus minus 5 3 is a 15 to the 8 8 minus 15 is a minus 8 minus it is minus 7 plus k by 5 plus minus minus then or 5 5 the 25 equal plus minus minus 7 plus k now we can find the value of k by taking positive sign 25 equal minus 7 plus k k equal 32 by taking negative sign 25 equal minus minus 7 plus k 25 equal 7 minus k or k equal to minus 18 therefore k equal to 32 or minus 18 and so in this way we can solve our number question now question number 7a question number 7a we have given so that the tangent to the circle x square plus y square 186 comma 8 and 8 comma minus 6 are perpendicular to each other solution we have given the circle is x square plus y square equal 100 equation of the tangent it 6 comma 8 is i have written x times 6 plus y times 8 equal to 100 and the slope of the tangent first yes i have written first equation equal minus x coefficient by y coefficient minus 6 by 8 equal to minus 3 by 4 again equation of the tangent eight eight comma minus six eight comma minus six is eight x minus six y equal hundred second equation and slope slope of tangent second is equal to minus 8 by minus 6 equal 4 by 3 once again i will repeat uh, we have given uh, so equation of the circle is x square y square 100 equation of tangent at 6 comma 8 is x x1 plus y y1 equal to a square uh, we have obtained this and slope of this tangent is uh, minus x coefficient by y coefficient that is minus 3 by 4 again equation of the tangent 8 8 comma minus 6 is 8 x minus 6 y equal 100 slope of the second tangent is uh, 4 by 3 
now the product product of the slopes equal minus 3 by 4 times 4 by 3 equal minus 1 so they are perpendicular to each other simple question is this now moving to 7b number question let's see what is given prove that the tangents to the circle this eight point this and these are parallel it's a simple similar to a similar to a but the circle is not but the center of the circle center of the circle is not 0 comma 0 so you have to consider in that way uh, 7b number now 8 number dear students let's see 8 number Find the equation of the circle whose center is uh, a the point HK and which passes through the origin and prove that the equation of tangent at that origin is HX plus KY equal to 0. Find the equation of the circle whose center is at the point HK and which passes through the origin. Uh, the center of the circle is this is yes comma k passes through the origin means a point on the circumference is 0 comma 0 this is the condition given this is the condition given now center of the circle equal h comma k radius of the circle equal g square plus f square minus c no radius is two points formula you can apply radius of the circle is under root h minus zero whole square s yes, minus 0 whole square plus k minus 0 whole square because two points are known one part of circumference and one point in the center known that's why the distance using distance formula you can find h square plus k square is the radius of the circle now the equation of the circle center at HK and radius H square plus K square under root H x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equal r square or x square minus 2xh plus h square plus y square minus 2yk plus k square equal r square is what h square plus k square H S cancel k square k square cancel x square minus 2 x s plus y square minus 2 y k equal to 0 or x square plus y square minus 2 x h or 2 h x minus 2 y k equal to 0 
we obtain the equation of the circle now comparing with comparing with x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0 what will you get g equal to minus h mm, f equal to f equal to minus k and c equal to 0 now the equation of the tangent equation of the tangent at 0 comma 0 is we have to apply the formula x x1 plus y y1 plus gx plus x1 plus uh, f y plus y1 plus c equal to 0 finally you obtain this will be 0 plus 0 plus the value of g is minus s times x plus 0 plus the f is minus k times y plus 0 plus c is 0 equal to 0 or finally hx minus ky equal to 0 therefore hx equal to x plus ky equal to 0 is the required uh, condition for which proves the given condition this is 8 number now number 9 question number 9 dear students if the line lx plus m i equal to 1 touches the circle prove that lm lies on the circle whose radius is 1 by a square solution here x square equal to y square equal to a square is a given circle so center is o comma o and radius is a if l x plus m y equal 1 change the circle then the radius is the perpendicular distance l times 0 plus m times 0 minus 1 over root under l square plus m square or squaring both sides a square times l square m square equal 1 l square plus m square equal 1 over a square dividing by this this relation shows that L comma M lies on the circle L square plus M square equal 1 by A square which is a circle having radius 1 by a 
this way we can solve nine number now number 10 find the condition find the conditions for two circles x square plus y square equal to a square and x minus whole square plus y square equal to b square to touch externally internally if two circles that sorry this just this is external and inside one will be internal touch yeah the center will be different here so here c1 to c2 distance uh, center 1 to center 2 distance is r1 plus r2 we have to add this here r1 minus r2 or r2 minus r1 these are the external touch and internal touch uh, here we have given x square plus y square equal to a square this is the equation first and x minus c whole square plus y square equal to b square this is equation second from first center is 0 comma 0 and radius equal a from second center is x minus as well square minus y minus k all square equal to r square like that so the center is c comma 0 and radius equal to b now the distance between two centers what is the distance between two centers yes if two circles touch externally if two circles touch externally that I is I mentioned here what is the distance between two centers what is the uh, center this is 0 this is 0 comma 0 suppose this is 0 c comma 0 the using distance formula what will you obtain that is c minus 0 all square plus 0 minus 0 all square that is c distance between two centers is c when e um, circles touch externally then what will happen c equal to a plus b is a radius 1 plus radius 2 if two circles touch internally the distance c should be a minus b or b minus a these are the required condition to touch externally and to touch internally by two circles now moving to 10b number question prove that two circles x square plus y square plus 2ax plus c square equal 0 and x square plus y square plus 2by plus c square equal to 0 touch if touch if 1 by a square plus 1 by b square equal to 1 by c square this is good question okay. firstly here we have given first circle is x square plus y square plus 2a x plus c square equal to 0 this is a equation of the circle now comparing with x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0 
then center minus g comma minus f equal what is g to g minus a and uh, this part is zero center is minus a comma zero radius r equal g square means minus a will square plus f square that zero square minus c what is c that is c square c is c square so that's why it is a square minus c square similarly the second equation of the circle is x square plus y square plus 2by plus c square equal to 0 center the center of this circle is 0 comma minus p as we compare x square y square 2gx 2fi plus c equal to 0 here y terms will be there so 0 comma minus p here minus a comma 0 and radius r equal b square minus c square is like this now distance between centers of centers of two circles now the distance between the centers of two circles that is center one is this and what is another is this what is the distance the distance between the circle is simply 0 minus a whole square minus minus a whole square is a will obtain a square minus b minus 0 whole square is will obtain b square this is the distance okay <clears throat> uh, question number 11 uh, the question is find the equation of the tangent drawn from the point 11 comma 3 to the circle x square plus y square equals 65 also find the angle between the two tangents solution here given point eleven comma three any line through eleven comma three each y minus y1 equal m x minus x1 that means y minus 3 equal m x minus 11 or y minus 3 equal m x minus 11 m or m x minus 11 m minus y plus 3 equal 0 or m x minus y plus 3 minus 11 m equal 0 this is uh, line now we have given a circle given circle is x square plus y square equals 65 
center is 0 comma 0 and radius is root 65 equal root 65 now the length of perpendicular the length of the tangent the length of the tangent from 0 comma 0 to the equation or to the line first is equal to radius so root 65 equal plus minus m times 0 minus y itself 0 plus 3 minus 11 m all over m square plus 1 root under squaring both sides 65 equal 3 minus 11 m whole square over m square plus 1 or 65 m square plus 1 equal 9 minus 11 33 to the 66 m plus 121 m square or 65 m square plus 65 equal 9 minus 66 m plus 121 m square or Uh, 65 or uh, we can uh, rearrange the terms uh, 9 minus 66 m plus 121 m square minus 65 m square minus 65 equal 0 121 m square minus 65 m square is Mm, 121 65 uh, 56 56 m square then uh, minus 66 m and uh, 65 plus 9 is uh, this is also mm, minus 56 equal to 0 56 m square minus 66 m minus 56 equal to 0 or uh, it is divisible by 2 28 m square minus 33 m minus and it equal to 0 or 28 m square minus 49 m plus 16 m minus 28 equal to 0 we have to factorize then uh, 7 m is common 4 m minus 7 plus 4 is common 4m minus 7 equal to 0 or 4m minus, minus 7 7m 7m plus 4 equal 0 either 
फोर एम माइनस सेवन इक्वल टू जिरो देर फोर एम इक्वल सेवेन बै फोर और सेवेन एम प्लस फोर इक्वल जिरो एम इक्वल टू माइनस फोर ओमर सेवेन वी ऑफ्टेन द वैल्यू ऑफ एम टू एम वी ऑफ्टेन नाउ uh we have suppose the equation is this we have to put the value of m in this first equation uh then uh the equation is m x minus y the equation is let me write m x minus y plus 3 minus 11 m equal to 0 that the equation mm, just for rough i have written this now the equation of the tangent uh, equation of the tangents or first one m is 7 by m on 7 by 4 वन एम इक्वल सेवेन बै फोर देन सेवेन बै फोर एक्स माइनस वाई प्लस थ्री माइनस इलेवेन टाइम्स सेवेन बै फोर इक्वल टू जिरो फोर इज कमन एंड मल्टीप्लाइंग बै जिरो सेवेन एक्स माइनस फोर वाई प्लस टूवेल माइनस सेवेंटी सेवेन इक्वल टू जिरो और सेवेन एक्स माइनस फोर वाई सेवेंटी सेवेन माइनस टूवेल इज फाइव वन सिक्सटी फाइव माइनस सिक्सटी फाइव इक्वल टू जिरो वन टेंजेंट इज दिस एंड वन एम इक्वल टू माइनस फोर बाय सेवेन then minus uh minus uh, you can substitute in this equation minus 4 by 7x minus y plus 3 minus 11 times minus 4 by 7 equal to 0 or और सेवेन इज कॉमन एंड मल्टीप्लाइंग टू राइट हैंड साइड माइनस फोर एक्स माइनस सेवेन वाई प्लस ट्वेंटी वन प्लस फोर्टी फोर इक्वल टू जीरो फोर्टी फोर माइनस फोर माइनस वाई या इक्वल टू जीरो देन That is minus four x minus seven y five plus plus seven sixty five plus sixty five equal to zero or making other terms positive. That is four x plus seven y minus sixty five equal to zero. This is third part. Is this? and find the angle between two tangents we have to find the angle mm. now angle between the tangents tan theta equal m1 minus m2 over on m2 Uh, here is m one is m one is minus seven by minus four. That is seven by four. And here m two equal to minus four by seven. So m one minus m two is seven. By four minus, ah, uh, 
minus minus plus 4 by 7 whole over 1 plus 7 by 4 times minus 4 by 7 equal 4 4 cot 7 7 cot 7 7 cot 1 minus 1 0 that's infinitive then theta is equal to this therefore theta equal 90 degree we can find in the question is determine the length of the of the tangent to the circle a number given x square plus y square equal 25 from 3 comma 5 the solution is length of the tangent the length of the tangent the length of the tangent from 3 comma 5 to the circle x square plus y square 25 is x1 square plus n square minus a square x1 square is 3 square plus 5 square minus a square is 25 equal to this cancel 3 units here yeah? 3 the answer the length of tangent from this to this is 3 now put in b number the length of the tangent um, from six comma four to the circle x square plus y square plus four x plus 6 square minus 19 equal to 0 is we have to apply the formula x1 square plus y1 square plus 2gx1 plus 2fy1 plus c equal x1 square is what 6 square y1 square is 4 square plus 2 uh, you can compare this with um, uh, x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0 while comparing means find g 2gx is 4x 2g g, g is 2 2f is a 6 so f is 3 f is 3 and uh, uh, c equal to 19 so 2 g is 2 into x1 is 6 plus 2 times f is 3 times y1 is 4 minus 19 on the root then you can find 36 16 24 plus 24 minus 19 and now <clears throat> 36 plus 24 is 60 here uh, 60 plus 21 81 
81 equal to 9 it is 9 at the length of tangent drawn from any point on the circle x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0 to the circle x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c1 equal 0 is root under c1 minus c We have to suppose let x1 comma y1 be any point on the circle x square plus y square plus 2gx plus we have y plus c equal to 0 this is the point of the circle then x1 square plus y1 square plus 2gx1 plus 2fy1 plus c equal to 0 because it satisfies the given condition if the point is from there and uh, it means the value of x1 square plus y1 square plus 2gx1 plus 2fy1 equal minus c this is case first this is equation first now the length of the tangent now the length of the tangent from the point from x1 comma y1 to the circle To the circle x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus g1 equal to 0 is the perpendicular distance length of the tangent from this point is x1 square plus y1 square plus 2gx1 plus 2fy1 plus c1 that is the distance then from first case dear students x1 square y1 square 2gx1 2fy1 over this value is minus c minus c and plus c is this c1 so arranging this positive first c1 minus c is the required condition required condition in this way we can prove this